saying hello again on July the 2nd, 2011. Beautiful, beautiful day again in the Laurentian Mountains, driving through saint jovite with my local expert, Catherine Lacasse. And this is a, a cute little town with lots of restaurants. Yes, and we're getting close on the right. You uh -huh. can see it's called Le Petit Amour. Uh -huh. And it's all uh, little shops. And looks a little bit like Trauma Resort. Yeah, Here. yeah, this is very cute. Very nice terrace. Uh -huh. Beautiful. And this is like an older town, I can tell from they all kept all these original buildings. Yeah, it's very, very cute. And that you were telling me this is sort of the biggest town immediately close to Mont Tremblant. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice so outdoor this patio. Uh, way before Tremblant. Uh -huh. Yeah, it looks like it's from the 1800s or something. Yes. It's quite a quite a historic village here. Very nice. And this is where you would go for groceries and for shopping. Exactly, mm -hmm. and for the church, like the church is oh, yeah. huge. Right, yeah, very interesting. It's pretty interesting. much the end of the village after that we hit the highway. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And now we're going to go into the old village. We're going to go in the old village mm -hmm. of Mont Tremblant. Of Mont Tremblant. And I want to point out here that mm -hmm. Park J.C.J. Anderson, the, the yeah. J.C.J. Anderson Park, J.C.J. Okay. Anderson, he's a uh, gold medalist in the last Olympic in the 2010 Vancouver Olympics. Oh, really? In um, uh, snow, hard boots, snowboard cross. Snowboard cross, yeah. that's an interesting well, sport. Well, no, not yeah. snowboard cross, sorry. Snowboard, like parallel, uh, parallel snowboard. Uh-huh. You know the, the hard boots and there are two of them going down? Okay, competing, so yeah. He was, uh, he's our home athlete, he's been, it was his fourth Olympics. I'm and he won gold? He won gold. Oh my I god. A huge, huge fan. Yeah. He is 33 years old, 34 pretty much. Uh, uh huh. But um, it's his, it was his fourth Olympics and all the three other Olympics he had a great season, but to the Olympics he got disqualified, or there was oh, always really? something, and yeah. or he he became, or he he got like 23rd position or something like that. Mm -hmm. So this year we were all behind him because we it was his last year. He's yeah. getting older. He's getting older, and, yeah. And he has a family and kids and everything. Mm -hmm. So um, we we I did a whole party for him actually because oh, did he, you? because in the because he was in Vancouver. Mm -hmm. I got everybody, his family and his friends that were not in Vancouver, mm -hmm. and I did a gathering at the shack. And all the media came, all the local media and nice. sports, uh, that couldn't cover the the, the Olympics. Mm -hmm. They were all there, and everybody was crying. It was one of the. It was such a beautiful moment because he won, and it was like the uh, the last day of the Olympics, and the day after was the closing ceremony. So mm -hmm. it was. We all waited until the last day, and that's he made great. It and he was just. Uh, if he did, he was so close to. He was like second position. So mm -hmm. we knew that he was getting a, a medal, but. Before he left, I'm like, you come back with a gold medal. Yeah. Medal. Try my he best. took you seriously. Yeah, and I was so yeah. excited. He called me the next day, and uh, that's wonderful. And he did so much promotion. He was really. Um, what's going on here? Well, we've got bikes on the car, yeah. so that means people because come here is, for biking. We're right here. This is the the old uh, the gar, like oh, the old, the old train, train station, the tiny yeah. one. Look at that. So that's uh, tiny that's train station. He, see here, this is the bike path. Nice. So oh bike God, path great really biking long. around here. Yeah. And, and restaurants here as well. Yeah, and little B and Bs everywhere. Yeah, nice. So you've got everything in this area. You've got the big uh, village, uh, Station Mont Tremblant. You've got uh, big hotels. You've got condos. You've got bed and breakfasts. People can go camping here in the summer if yeah, they want. There's campings, a lot of campings. So there's everything is here for everybody. Whether you want to stay upscale, whether you want to stay in the wilderness, you've got everything here. Exactly. Perfect. Very nice. What a great area.